there is a doom over the Middle East. The main characteristic is to make sure that any information or understanding or analysis is presented as sad, depressing, hopeless. You will hear stuff like, war It's not going to end. If it ends, it's going to come back. Freedom, not going to happen. Because the Arab people are not made for that, we all know that. It will be civil war, it will be sectarian strife, it will be nuclear bombs, it will be another invasion, it will be whatever horror you want to imagine, because it always happens. The key thing is that you have really to understand that nothing can change in the Middle East. This extends to all youth all over the world. What is established has to remain the same. Things cannot change, things will not change, things do not have to be changed. So when things started to change, they didn't understand. When the word revolution started to emerge, they didn't want to use it. They wanted to call it the Arab Spring, as if it was just one season, one spring. Soon they say, it will fail again. It will be the Arabic winter. It will be another dictatorship. It will be another civil war. It will be whatever horror you want to imagine, because it always happens. Things they don't understand is that we are young. We don't need one spring. We don't need one season, because we know we are going to have plenty of them. We know the future is ours for all the springs to come. I was surprised by the revolution. And I was shocked to be surprised. To be surprised because people would go in the street to claim their basic rights? What else would surprise me? What other dreams did I give up? I, with all my ideals and hopes and dreams, I was surprised by a revolution. What else did I forget? Did I forget that humans are free to think? Did I forget that all humans are equals? Did I forget that the woman has the same right than the man? I started to think about that, and it all came back. I hadn't forgot any of these things. I just had accepted that at a point you have to stop dreaming and to grow up. I don't want to grow up. I don't want to stop dreaming. Growing up is something I would experience somehow later in my life. Not now and not like that, and certainly not by giving up any of my dreams. We cannot be scared, really. The doom is unconscious. It comes from our parents, who told us, like, guys, be scared. Be scared of climate change. Be scared of authority. Scared of the disaster that will come. We listen. We never really hear it. We know climate change can be changed. We know disaster don't come if no one wants to bring them. And authority, well, authority is going to be us. In a few years, we are going to rule this world. And it's the reality that is going to bend to our dreams, not our dreams that will bend to reality. We can't be scared. We know climate change won't kill us, because we will fight it and we will win, because we have no choice. We know civil war won't come back, because simply we don't want it. 
I met with people in Cairo. They told me they were ready to die for the revolution. Without bravery, just like that, the guy tells me, it's okay, I'm ready to die for the revolution. I met with people in Tunisia. They were starting incredible projects over the internet. They were just throwing the basis for freedom of expression, for governance, transparency, and accountability, for citizen journalism. They were speaking to me just like that, without even realizing how powerful and meaningful were the initiatives. It's the absence of fear that makes the revolution possible. If you don't fear the present, how would you fear the future? If you don't fear the future, then you can make change a reality. The first obstacle to the revolution is the fear of change. What will happen next? The big question. The answer is we don't know. Anything can happen. When you understand that anything means everything, then you become a revolution. And this is the real meaning of the revolution. The world will not change me, I will change the world. And I don't fear the future because I don't fear the present. I always knew I was not alone. I always knew we were millions thinking like that. Thing is, I didn't know where to find them. Until one day I saw them online interacting and exchanging like never before in humanity history. It's called the internet. Thing is, internet is just a tool though. It has nothing to do with the unstoppable energy we are about to unleash to this world. If we had wooden sticks, we would use wooden sticks. We will fight and we will win because we have a very special kind of power, something they can't understand. They don't realize how powerful is youth when it's coupled with patience because we know how to wait and we have time. We have time to learn, we have time to plan, we have time to understand and to build carefully. We have been taught how to wait. We have been taught patience. All these speeches about how things cannot be changed and how things will not be changed. We listened because when adults are speaking, you do listen. But we knew inside, deep inside, it was just a question of waiting waiting for them to go wrong. Then we will have our chance to implement whatever vision we have to rebuild this damaged world. Now it's the time. Now they have been wrong. And now it's our time. Because for us, everything is an opportunity. Thank you.